to downtown Chattanooga. We are here at what we believe used to be the site of the J.W. Kelly & Co. Distillery. We are at the corner of West Martin Luther King Boulevard and Broad Street. Now, in J.W. Kelly's day, Martin Luther King Boulevard was 9th Street. So once upon a time on this site, J.W. Kelly & Co. had a distillery here. The distillery was called Deep Spring. And that is where they produced about 12 labels and was pretty important in the early history of Chattanooga. And all of their stuff was eventually bought up by a bank. <laughs> and they eventually tore down the distillery and built another building right where we're standing. Let me show you. Morgan Stanley. Now, I don't think it was actually called Morgan Stanley when it was first built. I think it was actually called something else. And we're gonna go down here to the side of the building. And it's right across, just to give you a perspective, it's right across the street from the historic and extremely haunted Reed House. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but J.W. Kelly actually at one point owned the bar that was inside the Reed House. Over there, that corner is Broad Street. So the front of the building would have been on the corner of Broad Street and this street, which is Mar Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard now, but in J.W. Kelly's day, it was 9th Street. So it would have run from that corner all the way where this parking lot is. And right to this corner of MLK and Market Street. It would have run right here. It's a pretty massive space. The J.W. Kelly Distillery did not start off as a big old place like this. It actually started off pretty small. But in doing research, we learned that they eventually spent $40,000 to add onto the building. It went up and out. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So thanks for joining us for this episode of J.W. Kelly History from downtown Chattanooga. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.